The Bible Handbook from the Daily Grace Co. has been redesigned and updated. I don't have that one yet, but I do have the original version. So we are going to take a look through that today and see if this book is a good addition to your bookshelf. Hello, my name is Wendy Coop, and on this channel we do Bible studies, Bible study tools, apologetics, theology, and cultural commentary, all to help you grow deeper in the Word, understand your faith, and be able to share it with others, as in the Great Commission. So, this is the Bible Handbook. It is hardcover, linen-bound by the Daily Grace Co. Equipping Disciples in the Word is their mission. And you may know them from their various Bible studies uh, that they have on literally just about everything. But you may not have been familiar with the fact that they have these guides and handbooks to help you further study and understand the Bible. And the Bible handbook is one of them. Like I said, it has been redone in terms of cover and some content has been updated. Um, but I don't have the new one to compare. So if you have, maybe you have this one, maybe you're looking at the new one. Either way, I think that this copy is sufficient to help you decide if you're going to buy this or not. So we have the inside cover with the contributors, the designer, and the editors. And again, this is the Bible handbook. And the table of contents. Now, this is a book by book breakdown and overview of the Bible. So, there's an introduction to this book and an overview of the Bible in terms of genres. So, the historical narrative, epistles, prophets, the first five books, um, which are called the Torah, and wisdom literature. And then, what it's going to do is take you through each book, a few pages each, through um, in the order in which they appear in the book, but also broken down by their genre. So historical narrative, wisdom literature, prophets, historical narrative, and epistles. Um, so that you can understand what's going on in each book. Because maybe you have a Bible that's not a study Bible. Maybe you have a Bible that's not a devotional Bible and your Bible doesn't include all of these resources in there. So this book is actually really good for keeping uh, around when you're doing your Bible study because, you know, I always encourage you to use the Bible that you have access to, whether that's on your phone or physical Bible, or maybe it's one that someone handed down to you. Either way, if you add a book like this, and in the previous video, I talked about the theology handbook. You know, books like that help deepen your understanding and study of your faith. So um, back to the table of contents. In the appendix, there is a reference list for additional resources and then maps, infographics, family trees, timelines, commentary, and cross-references. Again, this is meant to break down the Bible book by book. So if you want to know about... The book of Zephaniah, which is not a book often talked about. So that's page 189. So let's turn to page 189. Zephaniah, type of book, prophet pre-exilic. It's a little hard to read that, but that's what it says. It's in cursive. Uh, so Zephaniah, where Zephaniah is on the timeline, major themes, the main verse, is Zephaniah 2 3. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the earth, who carry out what the who carry out what he commands. Seek righteousness, seek humility, perhaps you will be concealed on the day of the Lord's anger. So the key words here are judgment and restoration. And this is not a very long book. So the introduction here, it's literally just this page <laughs> and then there's an outline of the three chapters of Zephaniah and then the events surrounding Zephaniah um, that happen in 2nd Kings and then that's it that's your that's your introduction to Zephaniah so then it goes into Haggai the next book you know again this is in order so when you get to the New Testament Here's 
Matthew. Matthew's got a timeline. Well, Malachi has a timeline at the end, but Matthew has uh, a map here around the Sea of Galilee. It's got an outline of the book. Um, but just because it's Matthew doesn't mean there's more to it or more words, rather more of an introduction than say Zephaniah or Haggai, even though those are books we don't talk about very often. So this is beautifully photographed and designed. It's very elegant. I know I use that word a lot when it comes to the Daily Grace Co, but it is just so true. And I'm going to skip to the end. Oh, by the way, just like in the theology handbook, there is a ribbon marker because as I told you in the theology handbook review, which if you missed it, the description uh, will have the link to it. These are helpful because these are such nice books. These are not cheap books by any means. Um, they are not cheaply made from what I can tell. But what I do want to draw your attention to is the fact that these pages are glossy. So these are not pages you're going to be taking notes on lest you smear your ink. Because um, I know a lot of you out there are using gel ink. <laughs> um, even if you're using ballpoint ink, you could still smear it and you're not going to use pencil. Pencil won't really show up here. So this is truly a reference book. If you want to take notes, I recommend having a separate book. So there is a ribbon marker in case you need it um, so that you always know where you stopped. And then Revelation, here we have the appendix. And again, um, it tells you where all the maps are, where the infographics are, where the family trees are. I mean, it's really just an appendix. But what I love here are the extra resources by book. So it tells you the extra resources for Galatians with the fruit of the spirit. Um, and what page that is on. Philemon, the commonality of slaves. James, flow of thought in the book of James. Things like that. So if I'm correct in what I read on the website, there's even more resources. Um, and there's updated text. Not a lot of updated text, but some updated text and updated resources with regards to these books of the Bible. But again, the Bible handbook is a book by book overview of the Bible. Keyword emphasis overview. So in the end, should you buy this book? I think so. But I also think that you should get this one first, the theology handbook. Get your hands on the theology handbook first then get the Bible handbook. Um, while I think it's a good purchase, I don't think it's a must have in my honest opinion. Um, I think what happened was there was a deal and I ended up with both books. Um, but the Daily Grace Co has a set, a couple of sets that are coming out soon. So keep your eye on the website and make sure you are signed up for their email list, which is free of course. And you too can find out when these sets are new, when you go on the website and you look at the different sets that include these books, you can get an email and or text no notification of when these tech, these sets are available. So whether you want both the theology handbook and the Bible handbook, and then a couple of other things that are coming out, you will be able to get your hands on the whole set and save some money in the process. But again, links to these books are in the description of the video. My name is Wendy Coop. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it. Hit that thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you think about this book. Not very thick, but an overview of each book of the Bible. What do you think? Let me know. And YouTube thinks you'll enjoy this video next. Let me know if YouTube got it right. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.